they make me happy. Um, Observer gonna scout this third hatch going down at the lower uh, base over here. Happy and sappy and in the pants, crappy. Yeah, once I it starts to get around sappy. 1 a.m., things uh, start to get a little bit funky. My brain is uh, attempting to think of things to talk about, but unfortunately is failing somewhat. Um, uh, let's look at different stuff about the game. 44 over 38 drones. Uh, sorry, probes <laughs> over drones. Uh, that'll probably change as the third base goes up, as well as having better saturation. So the Zerg, will sp uh, Zerg economy will still be rolling pretty well there. Uh, ground level, uh, ground armor level one going up for our Protoss player. Uh, Colossus almost finished. Uh, extended thermal lance about to get, uh, just getting started, about a quarter way through right now. What else? A long is discussion notable? with uh, with in control, by the way. A very, a re relatively long discussion about um, about upgrades, Protoss upgrades in PVZ and PVT in non mirror matchups, and we agree, both of us agree that uh, it's not actually a matter of of player style as much as it is a matter of math. Frankly, uh, the longer your Colossus survives, the more damage you can get. Uh, and, and basically your Colossus are, are just, you know, your Colossus, the problem with Colossi in, in, in PvZ and PvT is that you typically commit them. Like if you're attacking, you commit your Colossi because that's going to be the thing that gets focus fired, and your Colossi are basically going to die when you attack into something and commit to an attack. So we decided, you Control and I came to the conclusion, that Thermal Lance, with Thermal Lance, or with, uh, with Protoss upgrades, you're better off getting plus two attack first. Uh, plus two, sorry, so you're saying that getting uh, plus two... Um, well, because your Colossi need to be doing as much damage as possible before they die, and the damage that you, the extra damage you do from plus one far outweighs the uh, extra survival that you get from plus one. Right, it's going to be an extra second or two, if that. So, not, yeah, it's going to be like a, like a fraction of a second, not enough for the Colossi to get an extra attack off. Uh, but they they do they do get a, a lot of damage buffs from the uh, attack and and since third base plan is almost universally uh, Colossus into High Templar if you go ahead and get that Cybernetics Core or Cybernet that uh, Twilight Council on two bases while you're getting your Colossi you can start plus two and then continue pumping Colossi and then get Blink or Charge preferably Charge since uh, uh, getting this many Stalkers kind of delays your tech a little bit. Uh, and you get a few extra zealots, and you can get charge, and you can have a <coughs> super incredibly effective army composition. Like the way it all balances out, just works out a lot better. Zealot or stalker sentry, stalker sentry colossus is really starting to go out of style more and more in the higher levels of play because uh, it's just so difficult to support stalker stalker colossus, uh, especially on two base. Effectively, well, Giggles is moving out with a substantial stalker sentry zealot <laughs> colossus mix here. Uh, needs to make sure his zealots are out front uh, right now. They are stuck in the back, kind of dancing between the Colossus' legs, Colossi legs. Uh, this queen is going to go down in the blink of an eye, uh, as is this hatchery. But uh, wow, this is a whole gaggle of mutas coming in here. Um, zealots perfectly placed. These uh, Colossus getting focus fired down by these mutalisks, uh, but they are doing quite a bit of damage. As we were talking about before, Izzy, he... oh, one Colossus goes down. Still another one getting a bunch of damage down on these... Uh, Hydralisks, it looks like um, the only thing left is a couple of Hydras and a couple of Roaches. So these Stalkers are going to be able to clean this up and kill this third base while uh, Giggles does expand right behind it. Definitely a smart move, although I think it would have been... Uh, I think Liz Opticon could have done better. Nice blink. And there's the blink, and that's why you get stuff. That's why you get the Twilight Council. And uh, I think Liz Opticon definitely could have... Could have... Uh, done that, definitely defended that better. He defended in a rather sub blizz optimal position. Blizz sub but the position was not good, so <laughs> he uh so he lost a lot more than he had to. I tried to make a pun, but man, blizz op is such a mouse mouthful. Blizz Opticon. Sounds like the trans like in a something. Blizz sub optimal. Um it's, it, it reminds me of, of uh Bon Wheat Karan Nimi Bon. Which, uh, if anyone gets that reference, you are a nerd baller. 
My favorite, my favorite quote. From, I don't, I don't enjoy a lot of quotes from Tasteless on my faces, but I do have one that I really like from Tasteless. Back when I was a young nub, before I turned up, before I grew up into a nerd baller. My favorite quote. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was actually watching the GSTL today, and uh, heard him say that, and that's why I keep yep. saying nerd baller today, or tonight yeah. rather. Or uh, I, I in two minutes. I'm not that uh, amused by their by their antics, but. Uh, I don't know, for some reason, when I was a young nub, before I grew up into a nerd baller, really got me. A young nub spawning out of his chrysalis into a nerd baller. All of a sudden, his hair looks good. His skin is clear. His braces are gone. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Grease, actually. <laughs> uh, and uh, oddly enough, he looks like John Travolta, so... <laughs> not the country, Grease. No, no, Grease the movie. Grease the movie. He's not being a xenophobe. <laughs> oh, coming in for an, an attack on this expansion, which, by the way, has full energy. He's trying to be smart. Trying to be smart. And he needs to pull back. No, nope, please out the gun. Pull back. Pull back. Oh, it's a little bit slow. You're going to lose a lot of corruptors. You're going to lose all your corruptors now. That was good. Oh, oh, oh no. getting a little Colossus no. snipe. Nicely oh, done you there. you keep that ball together as, oh, as a Protoss player. You no. really need that big ball clumped close together. Uh, you don't want something like this happening because Ow. that's... Huge. That is a huge, huge loss. It looks like Giggles is going to kill most of these. He did miss a blink. He could have killed off at least two more. Uh, at least not one with that 25 HP. But he, he missed his blink, and, and this this actually might be the beginnings of Blizz Opticon's comeback. Uh, I don't know if he wants to overcommit on these Corruptors too much. I mean, at a certain point, I would imagine, uh, no, he's just going to keep on producing Colossus. Uh, but I don't know. If I feel like uh, he's on three bases. Like a tech switch into High Templar would do him really well. Although I guess there's a lot of roaches, and obviously uh, High Templars don't do so well against those roaches. Storm still does 80 damage. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't know why people always say that. Like I don't understand why people always go uh, Storm six against roaches. I'm like f you. Storm do 80 damage regardless. I don't care. <laughs> that's uh, that's a good point. A lot of stalkers here not doing anything. Kind of. There we go. Nice blink. Finally, uh, gonna move in. Uh, probably gonna kill every single one of these corruptors. I think he's just uh, gonna go for the Colossus kill here. Uh, gonna lose. Oh, oh wow. eight HP on that Colossus. Eight oh HP on the God. Colossus. Ow, that is brutal. Uh, and Blizz Opticon actually just GG's right there. So uh, nicely done, Giggles. We're gonna go into game number two here in just a second. Right after I find out what the Blizz Opticon. Opticon really overcommitted on those. Corruptors lost yep. way too much in that initial engagement. Uh, did did no flanking, did no uh, nothing fancy, and really is there you need fancy things when you're doing army positioning. Uh, no lings, which uh, which I'm a little bit disappointed to see that there were really almost no zerglings in there. Uh, you, zerglings are really what's great is if he comes down the ramp. Uh, with his roaches, and I, I really, I really don't think that's less of a. That's, I mean, he's stating in the chat that he made too many corruptors, but I don't think that was his main issue. Uh, his, his biggest issue, I think, was uh, just, just first of all, uh, letting the protoss get on two bases. He overcommitted on roaches, I think, if anything. Uh, and what you need is, is in to, to prevent a third, especially in Zelnaga caverns. It's actually pretty easy for a zerg to prevent the protoss from getting a third, and it's very, very, very difficult. For a Protoss to get up a third in PVC on Zone Market Caverns. Uh, I really think uh, he, he overcommitted on, on Roaches, if anything. Should have gone for some more fast units, harass a lot more, uh, keep keep the Protoss from getting to the point where he has the giant death ball because it takes a long time to get a big stalker's uh, stalker Colossus death ball. Uh, anyway, I think those were his main problems. He did he did kind of overmake Corruptors, but the thing is, that Zerg, what you want to do to deal with that big death ball is. Overcommit on corruptors, suicide them in, kill all the colossi, remax on Roach Hydra, then attack and kill all the uh, remaining, uh, remaining units of, of Protoss. That's that's really the main way to deal with it. And then make a few more corruptors and usually trans transition into broodlords, depending on the map. <coughs> all right, we're going to be going into game number two here in this best of three. Of course, usually our finals are the best of five, but we had some technical issues, which uh, I hope you watched the beginning of this VOD, and you know the story already, so I won't go over it again. Uh, but we are in game number two here. <coughs> we have Giggles spawning as the Red Protoss here at the uh, 9 o'clock-ish position on Metalopolis, and we do have cross positions with his opponent, Blizzopticon, 
uh, spawning as the purple Zerg here at the 3 o'clock position. Um, so good luck, have fun to both of you guys. Um, this is going to be, I think, a, a, a monster of a macro game for both of these players. I think I would have to agree. Uh, by the way, I think we should start putting that watermark in all finals. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, Very good idea. Uh, we, we should... Uh, I, I definitely agree that this is going to be a, probably a longer game. Uh, Blizz Opticon has, has shown himself to be a relatively passive player, uh, not favoring lots of harassment and aggressive aggression. And actually, Giggles has shown himself to be quite similar. Uh, he did push out a lot, but he knew he had an army advantage in most of those points. Uh, but he didn't really push out at all until he felt safe with those big losses numbers. So I feel like we're going to see a lot of passivity and a uh, big macro game, especially of course this is cross positions Metalopolis, easily the best and most balanced map in the uh, Blizzard's ladder map pool uh, by, by a lot. And uh, I think uh, this is going to shape up to be a pretty spiffy looking neato burrito game. Um, yeah, just to the... Uh, uh, the, the the, the chat and live stream viewers uh, <clears throat> I'm not too happy with the layout of the live stream I like I like the older version better uh, there is a reason for it though uh, which I'm not going to go into but the formatting with Justin TV isn't quite as nice as live stream uh, of course uh, Justin TV has a lot of reasons why we went for it so uh, I'm going to try and play with the formatting well, a little bit and try and figure it out up yours and yeah, that was a, some nice puns, some recurring humor, uh, as Rapsack is very, very good at. <laughs> uh, spawning pool going down after that, uh, uh, that was gas pool or gas hatch pool way, or something, so it looks like we're going to have Zergling speed with the fast expansion for the Zopcon. I wanted, I wanted to just mention this last night, I was talking to Rapsack uh, with the GSL on, and it was, it was, it was the first game with Fly, um, and I made, I made the greatest 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 joke ever I said Clyde is a lot like an alive horse hard to beat <laughs> how is that not the best comparison ever come on uh, come on as far as corny puns go that is good. amazing that's pretty good nicely done I made a lot <laughs> of them too I just like kept I just like kept throwing them out there when it's like 5 a.m. and the like like the, the the part of my brain that's the, the tiny tiny like half percent of my brain that's socialized like shuts off <laughs> and then then like the insanity just completely engulfs me and there's like so much insane things i don't know what i'm talking about that's why you're, a, you're you make a great artist yep yep uh yep yep um, I just realized also, that yeah. uh, <clears throat> these stalkers kind of look like um, four-legged Tyrannosaurus Rex with their little baby arms in the front there. <laughs> I never noticed those before. Now that's all I can see when I look at a stalker is little arms like he's going to try and why punch don't, you. <laughs> why don't stalkers um, have a melee attack? I think that'd be so hilarious. It, it would look be like so hilarious. We have a Stargate <laughs> coming out from Giggles. Uh, Interesting. Oh, steady do you think, Phoenix, uh, okay. I, I, I hope this is going to be Phoenix's, yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm working on a new build, uh, I, and I'm hoping Giggles does it, even though there's absolutely no way possible he would do this, because I invented this yesterday, and I've never seen it done ever. Um, you open Stargate, and I, I'm actually starting to figure out, starting to try to figure out how to port it into Blizzard maps. You open Stargate for Phoenix Stargate, transition into uh, uh, two base, High Templar Storm Drops. Then, you transition into High Templar, three base, High Templar, Colossi. Um, I actually have no idea what you just said, because all I can think of is going onto my couch and watching the GSTL while uh, using a gigantic spoon to uh, put Nutella straight into my mouth. Um, so, I, I, I completely apologize. It sounded interesting, but my brain wandered elsewhere. It is 1.07 in the morning, after all. And all I can think of is Ooh, Nutella and chocolate, and pancakes, for that matter. Nutella? I love Nutella. Is peanut butter, except made from hazelnuts. Really? Yep. Hazelnuts are hazelnut equal chocolate? 
I'm so confused. It's chocolatey goodness. Oh no, this star. He's so ply block. This void ray is being Pella made. Is, is, it's hazelnut spread with the chocolate. Oh, yeah, like with a little bit of chocolate in it. It's, oh, okay. it's mostly hazelnut.